I am genuinely, like, I envy people with 2020 vision so much. Seriously, like, how do you wake up and just have 2020 vision and see everything perfectly? When I wake up, what I see in front of me is, like, a blob of, like, blurriness. And just, like, like, how? If you have 2020 vision, you should realize how lucky you are. Because wearing glasses is probably one of the most annoying things ever. Like, if you're sweating or when it's summer, it slides down your nose every five seconds and it's so fucking annoying. And then when you wear it out in the heat for too long, you get, like, a glasses tan line around your eyes. And you end up looking like a minion. And yes, contacts are a thing, but contacts can be so annoying sometimes as well. Because one, they irritate your eyes so easily. And I take at least, like, one nap every day. So whenever I sleep and I wake up, they end up, like, dried up in your eyeball. And then when you try taking them out, it hurts like a bitch because it's, like, stuck on your eyes. And my contacts aren't, like, the monthly ones. Mine are daily. So I feel like every time I want to wear it, it's just I have to find the right occasion. Like, if I'm not doing anything today, I just won't let myself wear it because I feel like it's just such a waste. Even right now, I don't have contacts on because I'm not doing anything today. Like, I am, but it's nothing important enough to, like, put my contacts on. So I'm literally doing my makeup blind. Thankfully, my vision isn't as bad as others. Like, my sisters, they can't see anything without glasses. Like, they would run into a wall if they didn't have glasses. Oh, shit. I just did it the wrong side. Glasses or contacts on. Anyways, I really want to get, like, eye surgery, like, LASIK or something. And so if anyone has done any sort of, like, eye surgery out there, let me know how it is. Because, like, I definitely want to do it in the future, but my mom says not to. Oh! And so if anyone wants to let me know if there was any, like, side effects or if it was worth it. Even now, my eyes are, like, irritated from last night. Because guess what? I slept in them, so here we are. My mom has gone to eye surgery and she says not to get it, but I don't know. It's definitely something I want to consider getting in the future and, like, save my money for. But let me know you guys' just experience. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Here are some book recs. Keep in mind, these are just my personal opinions on these books. Starting off strong with my favorite fantasy series of all times. You either hate this or you love it. I absolutely love it. I personally think you have to get through the first book to have an opinion on these series. The second book is probably the best book in the series, in my opinion. But really great characters, good world building, really good plot, very interesting. Out of every single book I've read, these are the best books I've ever read in my whole entire life. This is the first book, which is Binding 13. I just can't describe my love for these books and these characters and this whole, like, world. Don't let the length and, like, the tiny font scare you away because if you read these, you would wish they were longer. If you haven't read these, what are you doing? This is the Cruel Prince series. It's a really quick and easy and fast read. Really cute, I will say, however, the first book did take me a while to, like, get into, but it's overall pretty good. Literally anything this author writes, I will read. I've read, I think, maybe seven of her books already. This was the first one that I read that got me hooked. All her books are top-notch, amazing. This is romance, contemporary. Again, it's amazing, very thick, but it's worth it. Here's another fantasy series. This one has so much world building, I kind of got confused a lot, but it has such a great plot. The protagonist kind of annoyed me a lot. I actually have not read the fourth book yet. I just, I don't know, I just haven't gone into it. A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. This was a little weird, but I enjoyed it. It was okay. This one's really cute, simple, short, and a fast, quick read. This is what I'm reading right now. It's Brittany's book. It's really good. It's really inspiring, and it's really good to see, like, kind of what went on behind the scenes. This is my TBR. So as you can see, there's a lot of classical books because I'm trying to get into it. Even though it literally bores the shit out of me, but I'm giving it a chance. Guys, I just worked out. My workout is like 30 minutes on the treadmill. And boy, did I realize how out of shape I was. I am not a gym girly. I've never been. And today made me realize how dedicated these people that go to the gym like every day are. Like I ran for a solid five minutes and I was like, I want to go home. The main reason why I went to the gym is because my mom was like, you need to get in shape for fashion week. So I was like, okay. It does make me feel a bit more productive. And it's nice to like sweat everything out. I feel like I just let out so much anger. I just took a shower and now I'm getting ready because I have class. I already had two classes this morning, but I have two more today. But wow, guys. Ah! Oh my god. That just squirted everywhere. Despite the fact that my classes are mostly online, I still like to look good. It's like the look good, feel good. I already feel good from like running for five minutes. Because tell me why I could run for like 40 minutes straight when I was in grade eight. Now I can't even run for five minutes without huffing and puffing. It's actually so bad. Like I'm so out of shape. I need to seriously start working on it. 
my skin feels so soft because i washed my face with this new like foaming cleanser the key to like dewy and glowy makeup is always skin prep also you need to know like what type of skincare you're putting on your face i always focus on like hydration and glowiness like glowy serums and stuff and this is another hack i've just been mixing like face oil with my skin tints or like foundation is i'm getting a haircut tomorrow so i slicked my hair back today it's never been so greasy but guys i'm seriously debating like chopping off all my hair just i don't know i just feel like i want to change I don't know, I thought of getting like a bob, but I was like, I'm gonna regret that like a week after the haircut. Okay, ignore the fact that I literally have one earring in. I can't find the other one. I have no idea where it went. I think I'm gonna put these in. I got these for my birthday from Chelsea. Anyways, I'm so glad that all my classes are today. Like I did this on purpose. Like, yes, I still have like tutorials and labs this week, but don't really count. Okay, blush is looking a little cray cray right now, but I'm gonna fix it up with concealer. Literally, concealer fixes everything. A little on the nose too. Oh, it's just me but this happens to all my concealers like it doesn't matter how good the packaging is it's like always leaking no matter what okay but can we talk about how amazing this hourglass concealer is i've also been using this in summer and it's still more than half full anyway so far i really like my classes they're all super chill okay i did kind of a shitty job baking but it's fine also guys what is with all the joey king hate like i think she's such a cutie people on the internet are just such fucking bullies like so fucking rude also guys i ripped all my nails off except for this one it literally won't come off and they're pressed on nails i hurt like a bitch to get them off but i'm trying to get my nails to grow out natural by the way guys let me know what type of nails i should get for fashion week because i have no idea your fashion week is also near like valentine's day and i really want to get valentine's day nails hold on does my makeup look bomb as fuck today okay per okay for my lips i'm gonna keep it simple i'm just gonna line it with this rare beauty lip pencil or lip liner whatever i actually love their lip liners because you don't have to sharpen it and this color is so perfect and then i'm just gonna do my summer fridays on top this one's in pink sugar okay i'm gonna put on these earrings now i feel like i look like i'm going to dance class bye guys hey guys i just finished my last class of the day also you guys always ask where my robe is from it's from victoria's secret so comfortable i think it was on sale too anyways i'm removing my makeup with this tatcha like cleansing oil it literally like melts your whole face off anyways i registered in this class like later because i didn't get off the wait list until like last week so i missed one lecture which isn't bad at all and then i joined today's lecture and it looks like they already covered like two whole topics and then i read the course syllabus and our midterm is in two weeks it's at the end of january hey guys welcome to my bathroom i just realized you guys have never been in my bathroom before i guess this is kind of like my night routine right now i'm exfoliating with this like tasha exfoliator this is what it is also ignore the fact that my bathroom's like dark. I have like my ring light. When I turn on the actual light, it looks so ugly. OMG. Oh, it's the goddamn bronzer. Okay, guys, I'm back. Time for skincare. I'm gonna have to sleep in this like waxed and like gelled up hair. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, so that means I'm getting it washed. And I don't want it like double washed. I have not used this in a hot minute. Ah! Hello? Anyways, I just ordered Chipotle and I'm so excited for it to come because I'm just going to watch Netflix. Actually, I don't really have time for that. I have so much homework to do and a midterm to study for. I got this necklace, this one that I'm wearing like right here. I got it specifically to like layer, but I feel like you can't even see it. Like if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't know it was there. But I think I'm just going to take it off because I don't really see the point of it sitting on my neck. And it's from Brandy Mobile, so it's definitely going to rust. Okay, now I'm using eye cream. This one's from The Face Shop. I'm starting to use like Korean skincare, guys. Oh my gosh, I have like makeup all over my robe. I'm gonna wash it tonight. Shoot! I wanted to put eye patches on. Okay, it's fine. I might just do it like later tonight. Okay, I'm doubling up on my moisturizer. It's because this one's like different. This one feels like a sleeping mask, even though it isn't. It's the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, what is this? Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud. And I like I'm going to sleep looking like a grease ball. So then when I wake up, my skin's like so soft and dewy, especially in the winter. Trust, guys. Okay, last step. I swear I can never decide between these three face oils. I think I'm going to use this one because I haven't used it in a while. This one's from The Ordinary. It's a rose hip seed oil. Oils, I only put like two drips or three. Oh, I got that all over my desk. Oil just like locks in all the skincare. And it makes you so glowy. <gasps> I love this song. 
Okay, last last step is this Fenty Skin Lip Mask. It's like the most hydrating thing you'll ever put on your lips. Bye, guys. Guys, they just came out with new dew blush shades. I'm actually freaking out. I'm so excited about this one. I literally begged Say for months to release this permanently. They used to only sell these in the limited edition packs, but now they're like permanent. And it's this specific shade I wanted them to release permanently because it's baby pink. And baby pink blushes are just so perfect. This is in the shade baby, literally. Their dew blushes are so dewy and so blendable. It literally melts into your skin. And it's also super, super buildable. And like, look at that dewy finish. I literally can't express how much I love these blushes. So lightweight on your skin. The shade I'm using now is Sweetie. And your makeup just ends up looking so clean. Look at this shade. Okay, the last one here is Cutie. These names are so adorable. Okay, I'm wiping off this side so I can show you the last blush shade. Okay, this last shade is more of like a mauve -ish, more of a neutral shade. Okay, I have a good feeling about this one. <gasps> wait okay this one might be my favorite shade i don't know they all just look so good finishing off the look with say's glossy bounce this is in the shade bounce this is like the perfect shade bye guys if you guys can't tell i like chopped off all my hair i'm still getting used to it and i'm still trying to learn how to style it but so far i love it so much like my head just feels so clean and it feels so much freeing now not having so much hair in the way a lot of you guys also asked if I like dyed it because it looks so much darker now. I didn't. This is like my natural hair color. It used to look really light because it was all like dead ends. And my hair used to be like bleached blonde so it was super damaged at the ends. But yeah, this is just my natural hair now. It's really dark but I really like it. I was thinking of like dyeing it again and going like brown with like highlights because I feel like that's so cute. But I don't think now is the time. I think I might do that in summer if I wanted to. It's also so healthy to the point where if I like curl it or strain it or do anything with it, it doesn't hold. Like when my hair was super dead and healthy, it would hold for like the longest time. Also, I have a tattoo appointment in like two weeks, guys. I feel like so much is like changing. This is gonna be my first tattoo, so I'm like super excited, but I'm also so nervous. Also, look how big my beauty blender is. I damped it and I forgot how big it gets. It's literally like the size of my whole face. So I'm thinking of getting like my horoscope tatted. If you guys didn't know, I'm a Sagittarius. And I just feel like having a bow and arrow would look so cute. I also want something that I know I'm not going to regret because it's going to be on me like permanently. However, I'm super open to any suggestions you guys have for like a first tattoo. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or designs that you guys think would suit me. Okay, this concealer is like not my shade. This is my summer shade. I'm just going to fix it up with a bit of the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. But yeah, for my first tattoo, I definitely want to get it on my arm somewhere because I want people to be able to see it because I originally wanted to do something like on my collarbone, but I think I'll save my collarbone for like maybe my second tattoo just because I think arm would be like perfect for first. But yeah, guys, I'm actually like so excited. I've been wanting to get a tattoo for like the longest time, but I just never like made the appointment because I was so scared. But this was actually a birthday gift from the outset which is literally so sweet of them. So thank you guys so much. I'm like so excited. Also guys, it snowed another like three inches last night. Why does my makeup always look so much better the second time I do it? It looks so good right now. Anyways, bye guys. Hi guys, get ready me to go skiing. Guys, I haven't gone skiing in like five years. It's literally been so long. So I'm like kind of scared to go, but I'm also so excited. This was like the most last minute plan ever. Last night, my cousin and I just randomly like decided to go skiing today. The first time I went skiing was when I was in like the fifth grade and it was the most fun ever. I didn't even get lessons, I just went for fun. But since I was so young, I got the hang of it so fast. I'm not a pro whatsoever. I don't even think I can like actually ski properly despite the fact that I've been skiing so many times. I literally just like pizza down the whole hill. <laughs> okay, I just took the beauty filter off so you guys can see. Okay, I zoomed in so you guys can see. But yeah, it hurts like a bitch. It's because I just got my period. And this always happens when I get my period. I just like get random breakouts. They're not that bad, but it just hurts so bad. I don't know. It's like my skin's flaking off. Anyways, I wasn't able to find any of my old like ski gear other than my goggles. But I couldn't find my snow pants, so I'm wearing my cousins. And it's my guy cousins, so they're like really big on my waist. But yeah, I'm actually hoping that the snow is good up there today. It's been snowing for the past, like, two days. So I hope it's, like, fresh snow up there right now. 
Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm in my cousin's room right now. I slept over at her house last night just so we could leave early this morning. But guys, I forgot primer again. Anyway, so like I was saying, we wanted to like wake up early and leave early. But it's like 11 now. Because we ended up sleeping in because we stayed up until like 3 last night watching Disney movies. Okay, another thing I forgot is eyebrow gel. I left it at my house, but my face is like all covered when I ski anyways, so. So like, I don't even know why I'm putting on makeup. But it's like, look good, feel good, so. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put on a little bit of highlighter and then I should be good. Just kidding, I'm also gonna put on a bit of bronzer. This Kosas bronzer is like, amazing. I just blend all of it together. Bye guys. Hey guys, we'll be out here on the bunny house. Ah! It's so windy, I'm gonna update you guys throughout the day. Hey guys, we're taking a break now. We got some hot chocolate and it's so good. I think we're gonna try a bigger hill when we go back out. Hey guys, it's so fucking cool! <laughs> it's so pretty though. We're going up so high. <laughs> it's so pretty. Hey guys, we're going back out for round two. Okay. You guys always ask me what this moisturizer is. This is the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA from The Ordinary. And so if you guys have been looking for a moisturizer that's both accessible and hydrating, then this is literally the perfect moisturizer for you. Personally, love this moisturizer because it's so simple, so it's perfect for every day. And it's really easy to use. And it has become such a staple to my skincare routine. This moisturizer has like a super creamy texture that supports your skin's natural hydration barrier. And it's suitable for all skin types. I use this both in my morning and night routine. This product also comes in like a little mini size. Look at how cute they are together. So if you travel a lot or just want to try the product, this is perfect. And this actually lasts for quite a while as well. Most of the times when I get PR, brands will put like a personalized note inside. And it's always my favorite part of unboxing it, just reading these notes. They are so sweet. And I was just going through them. I just want to read you guys some of my favorite ones. Okay, a lot of my favorite ones are from Fenty because I'm really close with the girl I speak to on the team. And we both used to figure skate. We both used to um, work at Brandy Melville. So she said, Katie, to my fellow Go Backs queen and ex-figure skater, hope you enjoy these refills and new products. Like, it's just so, I don't know, just something about it's just so, like, personalized. Okay, this one's from Tatcha. Every time Tatcha sends something, it's super, like, sophisticated. And look how nice this, like, envelope is, like. And so this is when I made a video about how I lost one AirPod and, like, they won't pair or whatever. And so Tatcha sent me a package and they said, Katie we're, Katie, we're so grateful for all the support that you've shown us. We're so lucky to have you as part of the Tatcha family. As a little thank you for your support, we hope that you enjoy these matching AirPods. I kid you not, they got me airpod pros like that was the craziest day of my life i was like no way and they have my name on it like hello it's just so like thoughtful of like these brands to do this this one's so cute it's from caudalay katie we've noticed you using our grape water spray so we wanted you to have a travel size one since you're always on the go plus an all-time fave serum <laughs> Okay, and then this one's YSL. They said, this one's so cute. Katie, we saw you serving on TikTok, so we wanted to send you some of our favorite products. Hope you love them as much as we do. Literally, like, so cute. And then on my birthday, this was from my team. Um, they sent me, like, a little letter with a box of crumble cookies. We don't have that in Canada, so I literally, like, was so shocked. There's lots of ones from The Ordinary. I can't really read these ones because there's a few, like, confidential stuff. Reading these just, like, warms my heart so much. It's, like, little postcards from, like, all over the world. And it just reminds me of, like, all the good things in life. And it just makes me feel like I have so many friends all over the world that are just, like, watching over me. Anyways, forever so grateful and thankful for everything. And I love you guys. Guys, I can feel my nose pimple growing back. Like, I don't know what it is. Every time I get a pimple, it's always inside my right nose. And if you've had a nose pimple, you know they hurt like a bitch. Also, guys, I'm tagging the winners in the caption. Congrats to those who won. If you didn't win, don't worry. There's going to be more in the future. So there's going to be way more chances to win. I have so much work to do today, guys. I have an assignment due in like two days and I haven't started it. 
and it's not just like a random assignment it's a pretty big one so i'm gonna spend all day today doing it i went skiing for the first time in like forever a couple days ago and it was literally so much fun but it was literally pouring rain so we were soaked despite the fact that we had all these like waterproof clothes on it was also freezing because we were there until like late afternoon so the temperature like dropped but it was so much fun and i'm pretty sure my cousin and i want to go back again soon we want to stay a little longer, but I was having, like, the worst cramps of my life. It was actually horrible. Can we talk about the fact that cramps ruin everything? I'm about to talk about being on your period for sex. So if you don't want to listen to that, then scroll. But can we talk about the fact that being on your period is literally so inconvenient? And it always comes at, like, the most inconvenient time. Okay, Fenty came out with a new concealer, so we're gonna try it out. This is in the shade 185C. I've been waiting for this. I literally remember doing a full face of Fenty and asking if they even had a concealer. Well, now they do. Okay, this looks like a good shade. They actually let me try this in advance on my birthday. So I already got shade match during then, and this is like the perfect shade. This specific shade is for brightening. And then I have another shade that's like the perfect match for my skin. Okay, I took the beauty filter off so you guys can see the skin. It looks so good. I really like it. It's really creamy and it blends so well. And Fenty always has like 40,000 different shades. I didn't go to bed until like 3 in the morning last night. Because once again, cramps. I was literally tossing and turning on my bed all night. I really did not want to wake up today. I woke up at 11. Which may seem early for some of you guys, but I usually wake up at like 10 max. Also, I grow more in love with my hair every single day. Washing it has never been easier. Like, it usually takes me so long to wash my hair because it was so long and thick. But it's so easy and, like, fast now. I feel like hair is always something that I'll always, like, never worry about. Because at the end of the day, it's just gonna grow back. But also, my hair grows, like, super, super fast. Give it three months and it'll be back to my regular length, like, down here. However, I'm most likely gonna keep, like, trimming it. Because I'm really loving and, like, digging the short hair. If you guys want to know a hair secret, the scalp serum from Wave makes your hair grow so fast. I've been using it since like this summer. Not only does it make it grow fast, it makes it so healthy too. And then the Gisu hair conditioner. Oh, I got it in my ear. I left my eyelash curler downstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it. So I'm just not going to do my lashes today. Bye guys. Hey guys, let's do a full face of Ilia Beauty. Okay, I'm starting off with skincare. This is their mist. I didn't even know that they had mist, which is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is called their Blue Light Mist. So hydrating and it smells so good. Okay, next thing I'm trying is their True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. This is like a primer slash serum and it, oh, it's clear. I'm just gonna do a few drops. Oops. I know they also recently came out with like a toner, but I don't have that, so we're just gonna skip that step. Oh my gosh, my face is actually sticky. Like, it's. Next step is their skin tints. You guys already know that I love this product. I also have to shake this before you use it. I'm definitely gonna let my siblings and friends try it because I love this product so much. Out of all the skin tints I have, this is by far my favorite. So creamy and it makes your skin so dewy. Next is concealer. They sent me two different shades to try. I'm gonna go with this one since it's a little brighter. I've never tried their concealer before, so this is like first impressions. It glides on really smoothly and creamy. Okay, I'm gonna blend with their complexion brush. It's so big and fluffy. Oh my gosh, wow, I love this. Such a perfect shade too for brightening. Not to mention this brush is super soft and it blends so well. Okay, I took off the beauty filter so you guys can see. But my skin looks so good. Next, I'm trying their Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. My lips are pretty dry, so I'm going to see if this works. Mm. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. Next, I'm trying their blush. I'm trying this one in the shade Dear Ruby. It's like this hot kind of pink. Okay, I'm using my brush to apply because I don't want to rub off any of the makeup on. But when I think of Ilia, I think of like super clean, very light, everyday makeup. And like summer. And super minimalistic too, I feel like. This one I'm really intrigued about. This is the Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in the shade Nova. Look at how cool that is. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do a bit on my hand. Going to take this blending brush. I feel like I should have used this for concealer. Okay, it's fine. I'm using it for highlighter. Whoa. Okay, that's gorge. Okay, a little goes a long way. That's so pretty. Still have a lot on my hand. Do a little bit on my nose. Nose bridge. Oh, I'm gonna do a bit on my eyelids. Just for a little shimmer. Okay, I totally did not see this, but they sent a perfecting buff brush. This would have been perfect to blend out the skin tint for next time. There's no eyebrow stuff. I don't even know if they have eyebrow stuff, but we're just going to skip that. 
right y'all it's time for a mascara so i have this one that i originally used but they sent this one with shea butter in it and i've heard that it like enhances your lashes and makes them grow faster so i'm gonna try this oh my gosh look at that wand first coat hello zoom in my lashes are really stubby naturally so okay they sent me their powder brush but i don't have their powder i still want to try this brush because look how fluffy it is so i'm just gonna use my kosis powder oh so soft i love big fluffy brushes okay last but not least are lips first we have a hydrating lip balm this is in the shade runway look at how cute this is like it's looking a little dark so i'm kind of scared <gasps> yeah i like that it looks like cherries now i'm going to put their tinted lip oil on top this is in the shade Ta tahiti that is so pretty okay, i'm just gonna do a little bit I love it. This is the full face. So glowy, so clean. I'm obsessed. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Merry Christmas. Guys, I can't believe today is officially Christmas. It just feels so surreal every year because I've just been waiting for it all year long. Ow. We just did presents just now, and then I took a shower, and I'm going to get ready and do a Christmas haul for you guys. I wasn't going to do one, but come on like i have to do one i didn't do a chris a birthday one so i was like i'm just gonna combine both my christmas and birthday together for a haul i'm so excited though y'all my whole family is here from taiwan like my grandma my uncle like they're all here i'm just so happy because i haven't seen them i see them like once a year so i'm so glad they're here but we're all going for lunch later um there's like barely any places that are open we also have like 13 of us so i don't really know how it's gonna work but <laughs> we'll figure it out but yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day so far, even if you don't celebrate Christmas. I also went to bed at like 3 a.m. last night because I went a little too crazy with grandma last night. <laughs> I'm also kind of sad that it's not snowing. We had a white Christmas like two years ago, but it's just raining today. It's only snowed once this year, which kind of sucks because it's December and there's like no snow. But it might snow in January, I feel like. Anyways, I really wanted to go skiing because I love to ski, but apparently the conditions up on the mountain is like really, really bad this year. Like I saw so many people posting TikToks about it and it's just like, there's no snow anywhere. Hopefully it'll get better though in the next couple days or even next week, I don't know, because I really want to go. But guys, after Christmas is over, it's literally New Year's. Like we're going into 2024 already. I feel like there's so much I want to do in 2024 and so many like, goals i've made for myself so i'm honestly really excited for the new year's because i'm so done with 2023 i'm also going to new york again <laughs> in like two weeks wait no i think it's one week because i leave on the 3rd of january but i'm only going for two three days because this one's just a work trip it still baffles me to this day that i can just say oh i'm just going to new york for work like i just feel so incredibly grateful and blessed Okay, my makeup is not makeuping today, so I'm just like packing on 10 pounds of blush to try and fix this. Okay, I think this looks much better. I'm just doing some highlight. Setting spray. I don't know what to wear today, guys. Do you guys wear red on Christmas Day? Also, one of my gifts for my sister didn't arrive yet, and it's coming today. I'm like, what the fuck? Anyways, it says it's arriving today. I'm like on christmas day okay you guys really liked the dark lip on me yesterday so i'm gonna go with this say lip gloss this is in the shade dream so i've never tried purple lip gloss before but oh my gosh i love this is the final look bye guys merry christmas hey guys christmas slash birthday haul first from skims i got my favorite tank tops these are the comfiest things ever. This is what they look like, and it came in three different holiday colors. I got two more shirts from Skims. I believe these are like the seamless ones, but they're so comfortable and they look so good on. I got a custom makeup pouch with my name on it. I'm actually so excited about this. It's actually huge too. I got a lot of jewelry. A lot of it's from Missouri. So first I got these hoops. They're so cute. Perfect thickness. I love them so much. I got these like Bottega dupe earrings. They're really cute. And then my friend got me this necklace. It's gold and silver because I've been mixing gold and silver a lot recently. I got this bracelet that didn't come in time, but I'm really excited. It has like smiley faces on it. 
from Tiffany's, I got this necklace I'm wearing that I've been wanting for so long. I love it so much. I got a stack of like beaded bracelets. I've been really into these. There's a pearl one, a silver one. This one's a mix of gold and silver. It's so cool. Last but not least, my mom got me this um, ring from APM and it's so pretty. I love it so much. It has like pearls on it. I got a new super puff. This is so cute. It's white and shiny. I love it. I also got this coat from Aritzia. It's like a long trench coat and I've been wanting one of these. This is perfect for New York. I literally can't wait. Shoes. I got some Adidas. This is the Gazelles. Color is to die for. I got platform Uggs and they're like the little mini ones. I got a ton of bathing suits and they're all from this brand called Strawberry Milk Moth. This one I got is this purple one. I got this blue one with butterflies on it. This hot pink bandeau one with a heart. This one's probably one of my faves. It's like a red triangle bikini top. So cute. I got this phone case, this phone case, and this one. I got some candy. This sage set. That's so cute. Little beanie from Ralph Lauren. And then my family and I played a game and I won $50. A shit ton of books because I thought if I'm taking a gap semester, I gotta keep my brain moving. So I got The Secret History. I got Britney Spears' book. I'm really excited for this because I really want to read about Justin Timberlake's Tiny Wiener. A Little Life. I know this one's really sad. The Picture of Dorian Gray. Lessons in Chemistry. And 21 Laws of Leadership. And then I got a journal because I really want to start journaling. And the paper is gold, which is so cool. And then my uncle gave me a perfume from Dior. Literally so sweet of him. This is actually like a hair perfume. It's jasmine scented and it sprays out really, it's so pretty. I got this candle from Sage and it smells so good. And then this body oil that is literally my favorite. I love this stuff so much. I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I'm so thankful and grateful for everything that I got. And I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Bye.